Hey everybody. I think that today will be a story time video on how to roll with the punches. I'm backing out on a major highway, so give me a sec. Check. Still in one piece. Let's go. I'm almost home now, and I think that I'll get cozy and catch up on the couch and finish this video up. So today will be a story time video. Hi everybody, welcome back to Home and Haven Farms. My name is Brittany and today I figured we would just do a story time video. So I think I was going to weave in that first clip of what was going on and where some of our chaos started and I want to start by explaining to you what happened and I also have to get out and go do chores still because the rain finally let up. And uh, the rain is why we are filming inside. Hello, Iris Lovey. This is Iris. She came to us. I'll tell you guys the story of Iris another time. <laughs> I love you. Such a little baby Iris. Okay, so today was actually a scheduled processing day, originally for Phoebe, our big sow. And I will try to insert an image in case anybody doesn't know who I'm talking about on our homestead. When we first got pigs, we were originally intending to breed for feeders. I love your little calf ears. So that we can put meat into our freezer and also the freezers of our local members of our PMA called Liberty Haven Ministry. As we've been farming throughout the year, we've been trying a lot of different animals and pigs were one of them. They're just a high yielding animal and you don't have to have a lot of them just to put food in your freezer. They grow out bigger and faster than a lot of animals and they also make larger litters. But as we've been homesteading and farming over here and rotating all of our different animals through and getting a feel for everything, we honestly just fell in love with the simplicity of sheep. As long as you have healthy pasture to feed your sheep, you don't need a whole lot. Not even water. They drink probably the least amount of water besides chickens and stuff like that. I love you. You're so wonderful. So we decided to phase pigs out. But before we made that decision, our boar accomplished our original intentions and he got all of our pigs pregnant. We originally scheduled this processing day for BB, but when we found out that she was pregnant, we did not want to send her in. We do love and care for our animals, especially the ones that we intend for breeding. The breeders, it's not like we don't plan on getting rid of breeders anytime soon when we make decisions like that. But in this situation, it was one of those things where to make our lives easier, it would have seemed, it would have been most sensible to kind of phase pigs out. And now we're having to <laughs> go the complete opposite direction and roll with that. Now, for anybody processing their own meat and raising their own meat, if you're not doing it on site, then you know that it, it can be tricky and challenging to get a processing date. Butchers and processors are in high demand right now. So that makes getting a date secured, tricky and challenging. And so in order to keep our processing date, Brian was able to find a pig of approximately equal size to BB, anywhere between 450 and 600 pounds. So what happened today is the processing day came. We have this other pig ready to go into the processor. And on the way out, the camper that was hauling the horse trailer broke down on the middle of an old highway. I'm so thankful that it was an old highway and not one, not a highway like back in St. Louis because that would 
that would never turn out good. There's like four lane highways out there and cars coming from every direction. So that little clip that you guys saw of me was me busting a hustle to get what we needed to the guys. That way they could get the camper up and going and get our pig into the processor so that we can make sure that we have enough meat for a long time to come. And another thing that homesteading has taught me is that you have to be able to roll with the punches. You have to be able to pivot and shift what you're doing. And it's not even just in homesteading. Any task, if you're a business owner of any kind, even if you're not doing a physically demanding job, you're gonna have to learn to shift and pivot because things don't always work how we expect them to or how we want them to. And this year has really been a year for me to put that into practice, really practice pivoting like I've never pivoted before. <laughs> and in all honesty, I considered myself to be very good at dealing with things as they come up. But when you have all of the critters a lot of different animals that leaves room for more potentials to go wrong and I think a video that I want to do coming up just to wrap up this our first year and then go into the next one is what we learned in a year and then the year to come while we do have to pivot a lot so much of what we do is also planned and plans don't ever ever work out how we expect them to but at least with something of a plan you've got the framework to know kind of what to expect so this morning was really me going and trying to help the guys out in the best way that i could we will still be phasing pigs out but we're going to have to push push that off a little bit because we're going to have piglets for a while and we want we want our sow BB to have the best healing and best recovery that she can. Do you see you? Yeah. Did you see your little bat ears on the video? I hope uh, the baby talking doesn't drive you all nuts. <laughs> I didn't realize that I did it as much as I do until I started watching the videos and editing the videos that I started filming. <laughs> so that was really kind of this video for today. Just a little story time. What's going on? What are things that we've learned? What are things that we have to go through all the time? Variables happen so much on a farm and homestead. And for me, I really want to be real and transparent and honest with those things because if somebody's going to be looking into this kind of lifestyle, it's good to know what to expect, even if we can't predict all of the variables or things in between. That's it for today. We have a pig going into the processor. We have piglets that should be due any day. I need to go ahead and do chores and go check on our pig mamas to make sure that they're okay. And if they need my support, be there to back them up. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Again, this is Brittany with Home and Haven Farms, and we'll see you on the next one.